Hey there, photographer friend, it's Sarah. Look, do you have a business plan in place to help you grow your business? If you don't, you probably feel like you're going in circles with your business, struggling to balance your work and your family responsibilities without a clear path to success. Look, as someone who's been in your shoes, I know how overwhelming it can be to navigate the world of business ownership while also trying to maintain a healthy work-life balance. That's why I'm excited to share with you some tried and true strategies for creating a successful photography business plan that will help you achieve your goals. Now, in this video, I'm going to dive into actionable steps that will help you grow your business, attract more clients, and ultimately provide for your family while doing what you love. So grab a hot cup of tea, sit back, and let's get started on building the photography business of your dreams. And remember, Building a successful photography business while still being present for your family is not only possible, but it's also what this entire channel is about. So if you're ready to make sure that your dreams are a reality, snap that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications and let's go. I know it's a scary word, business plan. Okay, two words, <laughs> but let's talk about the importance of having a business plan. It's like, oh, I have to write this business plan, but it doesn't have to be that way. I'm going to show you an easy way to do a business plan for your photography business in this video. Without a business plan, it's easy to get lost and not have a clear direction for any business, let alone a photography business that's in such a competitive market. Having a business plan will help you define your goals, create a roadmap, for your business and make it so much easier to measure your progress if you know where you're going. Because without a business plan, it's too easy to get lost and not have clear direction for your photography business. Think about going on a trip. You wouldn't just hop in a car and start driving. You would look at the map and then you can look down and go, oh, this is how far we've come. Versus just hopping in the car and taking off. So it's really being proactive versus reactive. And I've done the reactive thing where I hop up and I'm like, okay, what should I do today? And then you watch a few kitty videos on Facebook called out running a business or marketing. And then you wonder where the last month went. I've been there and done that. So whether you're just starting out or you're looking to grow your existing business, having a plan is just a must. It'll help you stay focused on what's important. It'll help you avoid getting overwhelmed with too many tasks and It'll also help you make strategic decisions about where to invest your time and resources. Cause that's all we have is our time and time goes fast. Let's start with defining your goals because every business plan needs to have goals or what else are you creating a plan for? If you want to go on vacation, you need to pick where you're going to go. Same thing in your business. Goals help us narrow our focus and pick the path. And I get it. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day tasks and lose sight of the big picture. But are you going to hop in the car and start driving without knowing where you're going? No. So important to create those goals in a specific and realistic way, focusing on what you want to achieve within a specific time frame. For example, I start working with every student and creating their business plan with the amount of money you want to make from your photography business this year. Let's say you want your photography business to gross or make $50,000 this year. The second question I ask photographers is what is your average sale per session? Now my students typically get a number around $2,000 per order, which means if you're doing the math, so $2,000 per order, times 25 clients will get us the $50,000. That is a business plan. Now, if you want to work 12 months for the year, that's two sessions-ish a month. Like what a great life. But let's say your kids are home from June to August. So you don't really want to work those months. So now you need to do 25 sessions over three months, which is about three sessions per month for nine months. See how it's just math? Now listen, this is an example of a very, very simple business plan. One that lets you work when you want, 
helps you stay focused on your goals. And what we do when I'm working with clients or in my own business is I focus on two things. How do I attract 25 clients who are going to come in and give me $2,000 at least? That's in what we offer, the products and the prices and the serving system and the recommendations and how we do everything. And the 25 clients come from marketing. But we can't go and do that and find those people and have the system until we know our goal, what that goal is. Did you like seeing this mapped out on the whiteboard? If so, let me know in the comments. And if you're thinking I could never make that much, set that aside. It's just numbers. You can change the numbers and you might be surprised when you follow a system of serving, how, because you're so different than all the digital file photographers that people actually give you more than $2,000. So let's talk about strategies for growth. Have you ever thought of growing your business like a house plant? I know, think about it. Just like plants grow toward sunlight, making sure you're growing toward your customers who are your source of light and energy. One thing I've learned from Seth Godin, one of my favorite marketing thought leaders, is the importance of creating products for your clients and clients for your products. So focus on deepening those relationships with the people who love what you do. You create products for your clients and then you create clients for your products. It goes both ways. To keep things fresh and exciting, why not brainstorm some new products or services to introduce in the upcoming year for the clients you already have. Aim for at least two new offerings to keep your clients engaged. Maybe it's a new type of session or hot new product you haven't offered yet. I love going to White House Custom Color. That's my lab. You can check them out at whcc.com. If you're a professional photographer, you've got to be using a pro lab. So if you don't have a pro lab that thrills you, check mine out and check out their new products. Also, what most successful business people know is that by having a coach or a mentor, they can get where they want to go further faster. So finding a mentor can be a game changer. You can find a mentor by attending workshops and events, investing in educational courses to test them out, or like we do a lot of free ones so people can see if I might be the right mentor for them. But seeking out coaching from someone whose business is where you want yours to be. That's why our flag is, hey, if you want to learn from us, we want you to put family first and make money, not just make money selling cheap digital files and you have no family time. You actually can have both. And finally, never underestimate the power of ongoing education. Seriously, commit a budget and invest in yourself, which is a deduction. When you're investing in your business, it's tax deductible because when you invest in yourself, the more you learn and grow, the more your business will thrive and you take it with you. I think it was Tony Robbins who said, invest as much money as you can in yourself as you can and then find something else new to learn. Like you are the best investment you can make with your money. Let's talk about balancing work and life because we've talked about defining your goals and using your business plan to strategize your growth. Let's talk about one of the most important aspects of running a successful photography business, which is balancing work and life. As a photographer and a business owner, I get it. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day demands of running a business and it's easy to neglect other areas of your life. I did it. I was up late retouching. My husband was putting my three babies to bed. I had three babies in two years. And I knew I was missing out on it, but I couldn't figure out how else to get ahead other than working more hours. But it's crucial to find a balance that works for you and your family so you can avoid burnout and maintain your well being. So, creating a schedule that works for you, but also your family, is the key component of achieving this balance. This means setting aside dedicated time for your business tasks, as well as time for your personal responsibilities and hobbies. And look, it's important to be realistic about what you can accomplish in any given day or week and not over committing to avoid feeling overwhelmed because overwhelm is the thing that creates the swirl. It's okay to say no to projects or clients if they don't align with your goals and values. And that's what I love about the boutique business model is that we don't have to serve everyone. And don't forget to take breaks, whether that's going for a walk or getting in a workout, because you can't pour from an empty cup. Have you ever heard that saying? 
you're going to go out and have impact in the world and you're going to fill other people's cups. And if your cup is empty, it's not going to help you. So fill your cup. And by finding a balance between your business and personal life, you'll not only avoid burnout, but you'll also be more productive and more focused when you are working. So take the time to create the schedule that works for you. Don't forget to prioritize self-care and set boundaries and then get a mentor with a system who can teach you how to make more money in less time so that you can have everything. No matter how you slice it, having a solid business plan is crucial to the success of your photography business. Without one, you can so easily get lost in the chaos and distraction of the day-to-day -day trying things and running your business or pretending to sometimes. A business plan will help you define your goals, create a roadmap for your business, and make it easier to measure your progress. Look, if you're ready to be part of a community of boutique photographers who value family first and growing a business and making money and encouraging one another and having meaning and impact in the world, seriously, come join our free Facebook group. I'll stick the link in the description below so that you can hop in and trust me, we don't allow the bullies and the meanies and all the things that happen in all of the other groups. It is a safe place for you. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it right here so you can get more content to grow your photography business. And if you love today's video, click right here to get more actionable steps. Hey friend, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Come on.